hell with the tip of your nose. <laughs> Amen. It'll never happen. It won't happen. Thank God this thing that I'm yeah. preaching is higher than heaven. That's right. Deeper than hell. Broader than the sea and is longer than the earth. What is that? When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. When I say to the wicked, you going to die. And thou givest him not warning. I go, listen, I got to warn you. Got to do it. I'm not looking at your status, how many churches you have, how much money you have, the car you got, how beautiful you believe you are. I don't care nothing about none of that stuff. No. I come by God's permission to give you warning. 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 I ain't going to get up here faking like I'm in some spirit and close my eyes. Oh, thus saith the Lord. Thus said, oh, shut up. That's right. Hallelujah. There ain't no warning. You's a fool. Amen. Go ahead. Have you been to churches and these men act like they got such a warning? Ooh, oh, oh, shalala, shalala, thus saith the law. Ha, ha, shalala, oh, shut up. That's if right. God wants you to tell somebody something, God gonna open your Amen. mouth to make it talk. That's right. All that shaking don't tell me nothing. Amen. Are you getting me? That's right. The holy book says what? And thou givest him not warning. If you don't warn him. Nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way. What to, happened? To save his life. Uh -huh. The same wicked man the shall die in his The same wicked man shall die. God don't want you to die in your sins. But his blood. That's why God sent a preacher that won't hold back nothing. That's right. <laughs> in order for a man to be a real warner, mm. he can't love money. Yeah. Because if he loved money... The crowd, the size of the crowd is going to dictate what he say right. and what he won't say. That's right. If there's a reasonable crowd, he going to make it his business not to hurt nobody feelings. Yeah. Because he want to wait for that preacher to bring that dog pan by. <laughs> That's right. So he can get paid. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. Amen. He don't care how many have second wives, third wives, live together, not married. He ain't going to touch none of that no. because he don't want to offend nobody. Right. I have met preachers that are so weak. They have told me, Pastor Jennings, you know, I want you to come preach. Hmm. I said, when and where? They said, but one thing, I don't want you to bring doctrine. Mm. Here's the Bible said they continue stood fastly in the apostles' doctrine. And men have told me, I, I, I don't want you to bring doctrine. doctrine. You don't want me to preach. No. I, I, Solomon says, I give you a good doctrine. good doctrine. You don't want doctrine? Stay home. Amen. Doctrine what save you. That's right. Doctrine what discipline you. If thou put the doctrine, brethren. Doctrine put order in your house. That's right. Doctrine put order in the church. Yeah. Doctrine make people submit and follow God's law. That's right. You don't want the doctrine of God, you will never be saved. No, no. Do you hear what the Bible says? In 1 Timothy 4 and at verse 6. 1 Timothy 4, 6 says. If, if thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things. If you put the brothers things, in remembrance of these things. Thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ. You will be a good minister of Jesus Christ. Nourished up Nourished in the words of faith. Nourished up in words and faith. And, and of good doctrine. What kind of doctrine? Good doctrine. How good is it? Whereunto thou hast attained. He already got it. He That's attained right. it. Attained it. So we have a good doctrine they give you a full course meal. That's right. All right, let's go back to Ezekiel, son. Let's finish up. Back in Ezekiel chapter 3. Everybody all right? Yes, all right, follow me. When, uh -huh. I, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. Uh -huh. And thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. Yes. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. And what? But. But. His blood will I require at oh. thine hand. Oh. Oh. Yeah. All right, preacher. Amen. Are you afraid to tell the truth? Amen. That's it. That's it. Because here, here the old troublemaker now. Hmm. You can't say nothing to the church hmm. until you get your house right. That's right. That's right. First Timothy, the third chapter. First Timothy, chapter three, and we we'll start at verse one. Let's go to work. It's time to put our our, our work boots on work now. Boots. <laughs> That's right. Time to put our work boots on boots now. On. Amen. Glory to God, I want to put my, my, my holy Timberlands on. That's right. That's right. I want to work on the qualification of a preacher. Amen. 
And I want to see who is called and sent direct right. by the Lord. That's right. And who is appointed. That's it. Indirect. That's right. All right. Let's work on the qualifications of a preacher. Now, follow me. First Timothy chapter don't 3. Don't tell me who are Daniel. I don't want to hear nothing about that. I'm going to the Bible. <laughs> That's it. I don't care nothing about no famous bishop. None of that. None of that. Because hey, if you look at the way these churches are, Daniel, 30 men got their hands on you. Yeah. 30 different spirits. Oh, yeah. One of those three of those fellas can be a homosexual. That's right. Four of them can love money. That's right. Another two can be a wife beater. Yeah, that's true. That's why Paul told Timothy, lay hands suddenly no on man. No, man. no man. No man. No man. Don't be hasty. Some of these men ordain someone to just come to church. Mm -hmm. And they ain't been there long at all. Yeah. They're a good tired and often giver. Yeah. And because they come to church to all type of weather, yeah. they want to give them credentials. Yeah. There ain't no credentials. No. Let me show you Bible credentials. First Timothy chapter three. We're starting at verse one. Yeah. And follow me. This is a true saying. Anything opposite from this is a lying saying. Amen. Because this is a true saying. Glory to God. Amen. What is it, son? If a man desire the office of a bishop. If a man desire the office of a bishop. He desireth a good work. No, she desireth. He desireth a good work. She desireth. If a man desire the office no, of a bishop. No, if a woman desire the office of a bishop. If a man desire the office of a bishop. And if you go to churches where you got woman bishops and woman pastors and deaconess and all that mm -hmm. recycled trash that came out of hell. That's you right. in a false church. Pastor by a false prophet and attended by hypocrites. Amen. I know some of you don't like it, and I don't care if you don't. No. Every church that has woman preachers is a false church false throughout church. the state of Georgia. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I said all of them. All of them. I don't care if you're UPC, United Pentecostal, mm -hmm. PAW, Pentecostal Assemblies of the World, mm -hmm. Church of God in Christ, Church of Pillar, Ground and Truth, Amen. Church of the Living God, Blue Church, Brown Church, the church in the upper room, the church in the dungeon. That's right. That's right. Jesus said, upon this rock I build what? My church. And if Jesus built the church, it's a sin for man to have on his sign that he's the founder of the church. That's right. You ain't the founder of no church. That's a lie. That's a lie. Get that lie off your building. Amen. There's one originator of the church. Go ahead. And Jesus is he. That's right. Jesus said, upon this rock I build I'll my build church. I build my church. My church. My church. That's right. When you say you're the founder of something, you're saying you're the originator of it. Yeah. How are you going to be the originator of the thing that was here before you? Amen. Are you listening to the old man? Yeah. This is a true saying. Hey Amen. We want to press out every wrinkle, you know. Yeah. Huh? We're going to use we're going to use some good scriptural steam. That's right. Come on, son. This is a true saying. This. Glory to God is a true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop. If a man desire the office of a bishop. He desires a good work. All right. Let's see his credentials. A bishop then must be blameless. Uh-oh. Mm, must be. You, wait a minute. Must be blameless. Must be. Must be blameless. When I examine your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See how many wives you got? Amen. One. One. <laughs> Not divorcing God a second one. That's right. Not shacking up. That's right. Not making babies and you ain't married. Amen. Not smoking. Mm -hmm. Not gambling. Not playing the number. Yeah. Not betting on the races. That's right. Mm -hmm. blameless. 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 Not preacher in church and pimp on your job. That's right. Am I right? That's right. This is the quality. This is the credentials here. A bishop then must be blameless. As what? The husband of one wife. How many wives? One wife. Oh, you that got second wife, sit down. That's right. Your first wife still living, sit down. Sit down. Amen. All of you that claim you preachers or preacher wannabes, <laughs> and your first wife is living, yeah. and you got a second one, you know preacher. No. You know preacher. You listen. I don't care if, if a hand came out your toilet or danger. <laughs> And every time you flush, the hand wouldn't let you go. You tell Tidy Bowl, man, you ain't no preacher. That's right. 
people have anything in the pulpit. Yeah. Any piece of garbage is in the pulpit and fools are ready to say, that's a man of God. What is your measuring stick of a man of God? That's right. Because he passed through a church, mm. because he got bricks and mortar and lights mm. and got a following, that's not the measurement of a man of God. No, no. What do you use to measure a person's temperature? You got to get a thermometer. That's right. What do you use for the measuring stick? The, as a man of God, you got to go to the book. That's right. They don't measure to the book, fired. Amen. Amen. Fired. Hmm? Come on. A bishop then must be blameless. As what? The husband of one wife. How many wives? One wife. Listen, that don't mean you got to be married to be a preacher. No. The apostle Paul wasn't married. That's right. Your, 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 the preaching shouldn't hang whether you got a wife or not because Paul was not a married man. Right. But it lets you know how many wives you're allowed to have. One wife. One. One. Mm -hmm. And don't lie and say the Lord showed you another one and your first one's still living, you liar. That's right. The Lord ain't showed you that. Your lower anatomy showed you that. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. The husband of one wife. What else? Vigilant. Vigilant. You got to be a vigilant brother before mm -hmm. you can be ordained. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sober. What? Sober. Stable minded. That's right. Come on now. There's more than one way to be drunk. Come on, yeah. dig in there. Dig in it. Some folks think... Drunkenness is only off liquor. No, when, when you drunk, that simply means you've been taken over by something. That's right. And most of these men are taken over by money or women. Yeah. Most preachers, if, if, if they can get away from women and money yeah. and liquor. And liquor. That's the preacher's trinity. <laughs> money. That's right. Women. Liquor. Amen. That's the preacher's trinity. Oh, yeah. Because most time if you get money. A woman going to come out of it. That's right. You shouldn't be paying nobody in the church hush-hush money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, man. Amen. Amen. Membership getting low. You shouldn't be out trying to produce more members. That's right. In other words, the women in the church shouldn't be carrying your babies. Go ahead. Go ahead. Am I right, I say? Amen. When you talk to the sisters in the church, they're not honey bun, yeah. sweetheart, baby doll. No. No, the older women are mothers and the younger are sisters. Rebuke not an elder. The Bible says. In the book of 1 Timothy chapter 5 and at verse 1. Rebuke not an elder. But in treat him, as, him a as a father. And the younger men as brethren. And what do we call the older women? The elder women as mothers. No, sweetheart. Mothers. Baby doll. Mothers. Sugar pie. Mothers. Sugar pie, honey bun. Mothers. And what do we call the young ones? The younger as sisters. And how do we call them that? With all purity. When you, listen, hey, hey, preacher, when you call these young sisters, sister, you sister. can't have no thoughts or no words behind it. That's right. When you say sister, it says do it how? With all purity. Purity. When you say sister, it come out your mouth clean, come your thoughts clean. is clean, and your heart is clean. That's right. When she leave out of your office, you ain't looking at her backside. Go ahead. Preach it, brother. Am I right, I said? Go ahead. Preach it. All purity. How much? All purity. You know, it ain't that many going to be ordained then, is it? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Amen. You see, this is not preached in church. No. Mm -mm, no. Mm -mm. Mothers are getting proud of their sons because they got little license. And then these false prophets give men trial sermons. Yeah. You see, that's organization. It ain't no one in the Bible ever had a trial sermon. That's right. Them the customs of the people. That's right. That's tradition. Tradition. Ain't no such thing as a trial sermon. Amen. Your life is on trial every day. That's right. That's, right. that's the customs of the people. Amen. Here it is. Back in 1 Timothy 3 and at verse 2. All right. A bishop then must be blameless. As the sword of God. The husband of one wife. One wife. Vigilant. Vigilant. Sober. Sober. Uh, stay, sober. So be sober. Sober. Be sound. Yeah. Be stable. Mm -hmm. What else? Of good behavior. Hold it right there. Yes, Lord. That's right. My God, man, that's a meter that we can fill with quarters to Jesus, God. That's right. He got a what? Of good behavior. You got to behave right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Don't let your good be evil spoken of. That's right. <coughs> know how to behave. Yeah, good behave. Yes. When service is over and there's some sister want to meet with you, uh, don't hold no meeting with no sister and no one in the building but you and her. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Don't let your good be evil spoken of. Amen. Well, Pastor Jenny, she want prayer. Pray over the phone. Amen. 
I believe the Lord can get through them wires. When you go visit the sick and there's a woman in that room, mm -hmm. take either your wife or some old mothers. Why, Pastor Jennings? Let the wife or the old mothers go in the room first. That way they can make sure that the sister in that room is decent. That's right. Before you go in there. Good behavior. Mm -hmm. You can behave. Good. Amen. Good behavior. Same way if you go visit the sick at the house. Yeah. Take some old mothers. Mothers so old you can't even lust after. <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Take some of the old mothers or some of the old sisters. If your wife can't make it, don't go by yourself. Amen. That's right. That way you don't bring a reproach on yourself or the church. That's right. Amen. Amen. You got to use good judgment. Yeah. Bible said all things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. That's right. It's lawful to pray, but it's not expedient in that kind of atmosphere. That's right. That's right. A woman got breast cancer. She don't need you to anoint her breast. No. No. Eh? Amen. Amen. Somebody may need a crowbar to get your hands off of. <laughs> now. Now, while I'm working on that, preachers, Preach. preachers, preachers, you ain't supposed to use oil no way. No way. Unless someone is sick. That's in the book of St. James. Bible don't give you permission to pray over nobody with oil unless, unless. they're sick. That's give me the book of James. James chapter 5, and we're starting at verse 13. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me with the Bible. Amen. You ain't sick what someone got oil on you for. Mm. Mm. There's something to be appreciated and don't even know how to pray for people. That's right. Follow me in your Bible. I want to educate you today. James chapter 5, we're starting at verse 13. Listen. Is any among you afflicted? Any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Let him pray. Is oh, any, mm -hmm. It's talking to the one that's afflicted. afflicted. You pray. Afflicted. When you're afflicted, you start calling on the Lord for yourself. That's right. Uh -huh. Is any merry? If any merry. Let him sing songs. Yeah, yeah, start singing. Is any sick among you? If there's any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. And what the elders do. And let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. But what got to be wrong with him? Is any sick among you? And then do what? Let him call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Now, Mr. Preacher, mm -hmm. <clears throat> what apostle, what elder, what preacher in the Bible call for a prayer line? Hmm. Let him call for the elders of the church. No, if you're sick, you're supposed to be calling for the elder. That's right. The elder ain't supposed to be calling for a prayer line. Amen. You got it wrong. Amen. Go ahead. That's what the Bible says. Is any sick among you? If there's any sick among you. Let him call for the elders of the church. No, let the elder call for the sick. Let him call for the elders let of the, the elder church. Let the elder call for the prayer line. Let him call for the elders of the church. The Bible ain't never give the elder permission to say, well, if there's anyone sick, you come on up and get in line. Where you get that from? That's right. That's right. The Bible says whatsoever things that are written aforetime is written for our learning. Yeah. What it said? Is any sick among you? <coughs> let him call for the elders of the church. And when you call for the elder, what should the elder do? And let them pray over him. The Bible ain't tell you get your wife and let your wife lay their hands no. on the breast. And then you lay the hands on the wife. On the wife. And somehow the Lord going to come through your arm like it's the worm. Come through your arm. <laughs> and go through your wife and they come through you. No, sir. Oh, no. Let him call for the elders of the church. That's right. You mean to tell me, Pastor Jennings, the women don't lay hands on nobody in first church? No. Oh, no. Give me the 16th chapter book, book of Mark. Mark. That's right. Mark chapter Let's 16. Let's go to the scriptures where these preachers go to. 
Listen at this. Mark chapter 16, we're starting at verse 17. Follow me. And these signs shall follow them that believe. And in, in my name shall they cast out devils. And right then when the preachers see that statement, these signs shall follow them that believe, they say, well, it didn't say whether women believers or men believers. It, it just say believe. believe. Keep traveling. In my name shall they cast out devils. Yes. They shall speak with new tongues. Yes. They shall take up serpents. Yes. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Yes. They shall lay hands on the sick. Yes. And they shall recover now everywhere he just read we see where men and women, and women done some of those that's right and then other things that he read only men done it only men did you don't find a woman in the Bible laid hands on nobody to cast out anything. That's right. You don't find a woman in the Bible laid hands on anybody and anoint them with oil. That's right. Come on back to Bible. Amen. And another thing, preachers, hmm. preachers, 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 <laughs> preachers. Amen. When you pray for folk, yeah. who told you to say over them? The blood of Jesus. Go ahead. Who told you? That's right. That's right. You mean to tell me all this reading in the Bible and you don't know what blood is for? What blood is for. You don't find an apostle in that Bible laid hands on anyone at no time and said the blood of Jesus. That's right. It never was used in prayer. Let's see what the blood is for in Ephesians. In Ephesians chapter 1 and at verse 7. Glory to God. Amen. Let's come back to the Bible. <laughs> That's right. You see, a lot, a lot of us are what we call hand-me-down ministers. What you mean? We just done what we saw all others do. Yeah. We, just, we just follow tradition. Yeah. Others done it, we've done it. Others done it, we've done it because it seemed right. But Solomon said right. there's a way that seemed right unto man. Yeah. And the end thereof are the ways yeah. of death. You'll have about five people lay hands on someone. In the name of the blood. Say that I rebuke you by the blood of Jesus. That's right. Blood was not made. Yes. Blood mm -hmm. was not made to cast out spirits. That's right. That's right. The Bible said what blood was for. In Ephesians chapter 1 and at verse 7. That's what? In whom we have redemption through his blood. Oh, blood is for redemption. In whom we have redemption through his blood. And the forgiveness of sins. That's what blood is for. That's, that's right. It's to redeem you. Redemption. Redemption. When the apostles came to someone that had the spirit of the devil, they didn't come with blood. No, no. They came in the name. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's right. They come in the name. And it came to pass. Glory to God. Amen. They came with the name of him that blood was in. That's right. Listen at this. In Acts chapter 16 and at verse 16. Acts 16, 16. And it came to pass as we went to prayer. As we went to prayer. A certain damsel possessed with the possessed spirit of, of divination the spirit of the devil met us. Which brought our masters much gain by soothsaying. And what? The same followed Paul in us. Uh -huh. And cried saying, these men are the servants of the most high God. Yes. Which show unto us the way of salvation. Uh -huh. And this did she many days. She did it a whole lot. But Paul being grieved. Paul being grieved. Turned and Turn said to the spirit and said to the spirit I command thee in the name of I Jesus know, Christ I command thee by the blood of Jesus Christ I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ I command thee by the blood I command thee in the name the blood the name the blood the name the blood the name somebody went wrong and it ain't the Bible that's right that's right the power is hallelujah. in the name that's right hallelujah hallelujah Glory to God, even David, even David came to Goliath. Slinging that sling. I come in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He came in his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blood wash away sin. That's right. That's what the blood is for. That's right. For redemption to redeem you. That's right. When he shed blood, hallelujah. Press him in the south, out came blood and water. That's right. Come on, man. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I told you the church got to come back to the Bible. That's right. They got to come back to the book. That's right. Come on back to the Bible. Amen. There's tradition yeah. and there's the book. That's right. There's tradition yeah. and there's the book. Amen. Amen. We follow Holy Ghost tradition. That's it. 
That's right. Don't you hear the Bible say neither there's salvation in any other. In any other. For there's no other name mm. under heaven among men, among men whereby you must be saved. That's right. It's, hallelujah. it's that name that got the power. That's it. Huh? That's right. That's why when you're baptized, you're baptized in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Name of the Lord Jesus, devils come out. That's right. Name of the Lord Jesus, blind eyes come open. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Death ears are unstopped. Hallelujah. 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 Are you getting what I'm telling you? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I command thee. I command thee. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. To come out of him. Come out. And he came out. Come out. Hallelujah. Come out. Hallelujah. Come out, I say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come out, I say. Hallelujah. Come out, I say. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Are you getting it? Blood, do not cast out devils. The name of the Lord Jesus cast out devils. You preachers, not standing over folk, yelling the blood, the blood, that don't move the devil. See, the devil is a spirit. That's right. And it takes spirit to fight spirit. God is a spirit. Only the spirit of God can whip Satan. That's right. Are you listening? Nowhere in the Bible any of God preachers stood over anybody and said the blood is against you. The blood is against you. No, no. <laughs> they didn't do that. No. They call on the name of the Lord. That's right. That's why the disciples said, Lord, teach us how to pray. How to pray. Hey. 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 Teach us. Hey. Hey. Teach us. Hey. Show us what to do. That's right. Hey. You gotta know how to pray. That's right. A lot of people's not being delivered yeah. because you're using the wrong right. stuff. That's right. You use the wrong thing. That's right. You use the wrong thing. Yeah. 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 Use the wrong stuff. That's it. You got to get that name. The name of Jesus Christ. That's above all other names. That's right. Are you listening? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory to God! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! What the hell is that name? Hallelujah! Yeah! Glory to God! Glory to God! Must have it! Hallelujah! If you don't have that name, you don't have nothing. You use the wrong thing. Glory to God. Yeah. You use the wrong thing. Nowhere in the Bible did the preacher say, Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. No, no, no. In the name. The Bible says, Whatsoever you do in word or deed. Do all oh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's right. When I'm praying, I'm saying words. And when I'm praying, that's a deed. I got to pull on him. Glory to God. I got to pull Hallelujah. I got to pull that name. Huh? That's the name you got to call. At no time. But the apostle said, Blood of Jesus. Blood. Oh no. They didn't say that. Oh no. And if they didn't say it, we ain't saying it. That's right. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Come on back. Amen. To the way Jesus done it. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 Come on back to Bible. 